Well, hello, all my fluid art friends. It's Doris at DF Designs. Welcome to my Tuesday Night Live. I got a lot of showing off I got to do first. Come on, catch up, computer. There it goes. Nope, there goes an ad. <laughs> there goes an ad. There we go. Oop. I got a lot on this train. I got two trays of stuff to show you. So, hello everybody. Let me first say hello to my moderators, Darnell and Shannon and Shelly. Let's give it up for my moderators. Woohoo! Oops, I got paint already on me. I was mixing paint before the live. Let's give it up for my moderators. They are awesome sauce. And let me say hello to the people in the chat. I see Linda, Julia, Deidre, Susan, Joy E, Joy B, um, Kim, uh, Pam, um, let's see, oh, Christina's here, there's another one of my awesome mods, and Sheena, and Angela, and Linda Seriani, aka Sophia Loren, I, I love calling her that, so, Hello, everybody. Let's get down to show and tell. Okay. Uh, first, this is one of the vases I forgot to show you guys last week, so don't get mad at me, okay? <laughs> I love how these stripes turn out. Bottom turned out pretty good, too. You know, this is the one that had the um, uh, greenish blue and, a, and some yellows in there. This was my sunset colors. And I accidentally touched it right there, and I, and I couldn't get it back to yellow. <laughs> so, hey, it happens, right? And bottom even looks pretty cute. But when I do resin them, I will be following Christina's lead on how she finishes hers. Um, and I will be, um, I will be um, um, doing uh, um, cork on the bottom. And here's some of the coasters that came off of the orange one. Uh, I am in love with these. Not one, not one coaster looks alike. That's just from what dripped off of the dripped off of it onto that. So remember that if you guys are hi Brian, nice to see you made it, and hello Mona. And, uh, let's see, uh, I don't know who else is here that I've missed, so just a big hello, hugs, glad you're here. Okay, um, this is one of the coasters that goes with another vase, so remember to do that when you're doing vases. Put co four coasters together, then put your cup right in the middle that has your vase, and it'll drip off, it, you know. And then after you pick up your cup, then you're going to have coasters. Now, this, first I'm going to show you the most perfect one that, um, I think it was right here. Everybody was seeing an eagle head. And, um, I'm seeing a, a, a manta ray right here. And that's the boo-boo I kind of swirled through so it didn't look like what it looked like before. And I've gotten some pointers from the expert at these, so I'm going to try some more tonight. But I'm sure Brian loves this one. Hello, Vic. Uh, let's see, who else have I missed? Yeah, you do get more detail, so try it. Yes, I absolutely love these. Now, let me pick this up without <laughs> dropping any of the vases. There's only one vase on the other one. Oh. I got to lift up the whole tray to make sure I'm not tripping over everything. Okay, now let me grab this tray. Because I do apologize for not showing you the vases last week like I should have. 
So let's look at this vase. This was the one that had the Prussian blue, brilliant blue, uh, reflex rose and Venetian rose and some white pearl. And look at that little star that I got. I can't remember now what toy this was. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't write it down. This was done with one of Brian's toys. And I just, I love the way it drips down the side, you know. And here's the other three coasters of that one. And now this is one of my, it's a pretty painting. I'll give it that. It is pretty, but it's not a dirty ribbon pour. Because this one, I know what my mistake was. I made too many ribbons real skinny. And I didn't get the depth in it. So, the, and see my green showed up over there. And a little bit of green over here. Looks like a crazy coffee. <laughs> That's what I call it. <laughs> I might call it, give it that name, crazy coffee. And then this one is the one that I have no idea what I had done wrong. But it's not a ribbon pour. It's pretty, but it's not a dirty ribbon pour. And there's the, there's the one coaster right there that I got off of this by, uh, by scraping up what was on the, on the uh, table. Now, let me, oops, what is wrong here? Something's wrong with my, trying to get it to, there we go. Okay, and I got one last thing to show you before I start painting. And that won't take but a second. And that's the cabochons I got out of the uh, vases last week. Um, I probably dipped, well, I know I dipped some of them on camera, but look at, look at these cabochons. I am absolutely in love with them. I think all of these became match sets, and then these can be necklaces. So, hi, Roxanne. Oh, where's the cocktails? <laughs> Are you playing bartender tonight, Vic? Anyway, I'll try to bring it up a little closer so you can see. Sorry for the glare. Focus, focus. Uh, I don't think it's going to focus that close. But I know that Shelly Anderson Art really, really loves these big ones. Because to me, you know what? They actually look like little paintings in there. Okay, so let me get a canvas out. I am going to cheat and I'm going to do smaller tonight. What is wrong down here? Something doesn't look right. Okay, and here's two cups. Uh, I need gloves. Ah, come on, give me a glove. There we go. So, let's see. Oh, you guys are talking about Finnegan? Yes, I did get great mileage on those paints. I may throw away what's, on, what's left on the table because I don't have a place. Uh, but um, um, I can get a lot of different things out of them. Okay. I have been told by Christina, a couple pointers, um, to go slower, not so many circles, and try placing c the color where you think it needs to be and not a free-for-all. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Linda. Hi, Sarah. Nice to see you. So, anyway. Uh, let me, ah. Uh, let me see if I can actually get a dirty ribbon pour. Okay. I stole... That's in quotation marks. I stole one of Christina's um, color combos. So I'm using Juniper Shimmer. Shelly's Masquerade Shimmer. 
I didn't have any gold rush, so I'm using light gold metallic by Amsterdam. And um, I got Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, and for my contrast, I got Moody Blue. And I'm doing two, two, three ounce cups, and she told me to only fill them halfway. Well, thank you so much, Angela. Thank you. You're a viewer of awesomeness and a super chat superstar. I love you, girl. Hey, old Jeff B. Nice to see you here. Yep, Disco Dabo. I did my I did my little disco ball. Okay, I'm gonna put and I this I already knew. You put it down the side. You don't want your colors to be you want it to be a dirty ribbon, but not a dirty pour. So what you're doing is, is you're trying to stack your colors like you would do for a, a, oh, thank you so much, Angela. Yeah, you have been with me now. You've been with me since the beginning. I got a few people here that have been here since the beginning, and Angela still shows up. Thank you so much, girl. Okay, this is uh, Shelly's Masquerade Shimmer. And I'm trying to do small layers. I don't want to do a lot. Okay, now I'm going to put some light gold. Yep, a layered cup, not a dirty cup. But it's called a dirty, dirty ribbon pour. I guess because it's like different colors of ribbon when it, when it comes out. Okay, so this is the light gold metallic. And trying to keep it to small layers. I don't really need to shake these because I've already done shaking them. And because and, I did my little drip test to make sure all of them had the same consistency. And this is the Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. The pretty stuff. Okay. And then... The Moody Blue Shimmer. This should be Nate's Moody. Nate's Moody Shimmer. <laughs> okay, you guys. I see what you're doing in the chat. Okay, Moody Blue Shimmer. Okay, now I'm going to put... A little gold on top of that so when it comes out it'll set it off and then I'm gonna put some of the I'll put some of the uh, juniper shimmer next to it because if I remember right Christina said that the juniper shimmer has some gold in it okay and then I'm going to give it some Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. And I'm going to skip the Moody Blue on this side. But I am going to put a little bit of Shelly's Masquerade. Now, this is more than half a cup. I got a Brian amount of paint on here, don't I, Brian? Whoops. Wait a minute. Let me... Um, shoot. Let me just start putting caps on so I can stick them back there. Okay. Shelly's Masquerade. Hello, Larry. And I take it that Angie is Angie here. Oh, hello, sweet moose. Nice to see you, girl. Okay. Sleeping Beauty cap. Gold cap. Moody blue cap. See, I didn't lose them all because I'm using, it's hard for you to see it over here, but I am using my little cap catcher bowl that Mona sent me. <laughs> Thank you for that, girl. I am so bad about losing. Now, I'm not stirring them. I just want to try to, and you want to pinch your cup on this side. 
okay? And you want to pull, not push, because if you push, when you're going like this, the color that's coming out next is just going on top of what already came out. So you want to pull, and you start in a corner. Ah, uh, come on, give me some. Give me some colors, guys. See, I'm not making them wide enough. I didn't make my ribbons wide enough, it looks like. And I am going to take this little tiny skinny ribbon and go through that right there. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Julia. Thank you. You're an aunt, viewer of awesomeness, a super chat superstar, and I love you. Uh, okay. Well, okay. Let me. I, I'll try not to. I'll try not to squeeze it too hard. So let me start it. Let me turn this corner so I'm pulling away from the corner. plenty of paint on here just let the last of it go off onto the edge it'll come off trying to get my little corners here so let's see <laughs> okay Okay, so I, I, I know I did I do I did a few things wrong, didn't I? Yeah, bright amount of paint. Well, let me do the little shimmy shimmy to to get the little holes filled in. Come on. There we go. It's starting to fill in. Starting to fill in. I see lots of air bubbles. So, now I do have the depth. That much I can see. Okay. But I did see lots and lots and lots of air bubbles. Okay. Well, I don't have to tilt that much, but I know I got to tilt some of this off. So, stubborn little air bubble right there. There we go. Ha, gotcha. You couldn't hide from me. Don't turn me into the um, um, Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Bubbles, okay? But, because I am very cruel to bubbles. And I see more of them, you little boogers. Let me 
you see now if I can cover yeah I didn't get a lot of the juniper maybe I should have put more in but I didn't get a lot of it okay off that side that whole side looks covered yeah, I got a lot of paint there I can see it so I can let this dark corner go off now when I go back the other way maybe it'll open up that juniper I hope nope the juniper's just riding along Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> Hang on, let me get one of my paint pens. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Justine. You're awesome, girl. That is, that is Justine that did that, right? I saw somebody said Justine. So thank you very, very much. Oh, uh, okay. Is that what the problem I did? Uh, well, we'll see how I do on the next one. Because I'm doing more than one. It's opening up. It's pretty. Okay, I'm just trying to get some off on this corner down here. Why won't you cover that corner? And then I got a corner over here, but I need a lighter color to cover it. Okay, let me just tap, tap, tap there, tap, tap, tap there. And see if I can get some of that to come off. See, it's opening up. Up. Uh, Start to lose my juniper. Don't want to lose that. That's all I got. Now I got little bits in the middle. Okay, I can. Oh, this whole side needs to be covered. Put a little paint there. Maybe that'll help the paint slide down even though these are eight by eights I put some big um, I put some big push pins in to make it easier to hold oh a container of ducks is known as a box of quackers yep that's right of course they're beautiful colors it's a Christina Welch palette it's all per well Except for the gold, because I didn't have any of the gold rush mixed. Let's see. Okay, it's not really moving. So let me put it right there, because I'm going to try to get a couple of cabs out of that. <laughs> Who are you saying bye to? Oh, thank you, Evelyn. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Vic. Who is Justine saying bye to? There's a wolf in there? Oh, Lord. Well, I will have to send a picture of it to the group and... Somebody can circle where the wolf's at. Let me get rid of air bubbles. Yep, looks like I got all of them done. Oops, but I didn't. I didn't want to stick it in the in the drippings. I just want to go over the sides real quick okay yeah I see another little air bubble that popped up all 
I don't know why they're popping up that bad on this. Okay, let me bring it up for a close-up. Okay. Where is the wolf? I'm looking. I'm turning it. Because I'm figuring... I see more like a duck face right there, a duck, a duck, duck bill with a, with, a, with, um, oh, the Cupid all hairdo. Yeah, you see the duck right here, but he's got a Cupid, Cupid all hairdo. Hmm. I don't see the wolf. I see a duck. Well, let me put this one to bed. Let me get a couple of cabs, because I see that's really, really pretty in there. Oh, werewolf. That's a snail. Oh, I don't know where Brian comes up with those. Okay. I'm going to do one big one. Wait a minute, let me push it on there a little bit better. I'm going to do one big one right here. I'm wiping off the edges so I don't have to do it with tape. Huh. Okay, let me stick you over here. And let me do, let me do two squares as earrings. I always try to do a pair. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Jeff. I can only do half a heart. I, I can't even, yeah, I can do a. See, I can't do, I can't do the hail, but thank you. Your viewer of awesomeness, a superstar, super, super chat, superstar, and I love you, dude. Okay, let me get that one. Okay, this is not easy to do. And I'll get one there. And then wipe, wipe. Wipe, wipe, wipe. I can't do this one in each hand, so I'll just stick that in there. Then I'll wipe this one. Let's see. Yeah, I can't. I can't do the Vulcan salute. Hardly at all. I think it has to do with the uh, problems with the uh, muscles in my hands. I don't know. Okay, let me move this. Move these guys. I'm not going to pull the whole thing up. I am just going to put another one over it. As soon as I, uh, I had two more pulled out. Here we go. I'm just going to cover it up. Well, thank you, Susan. <music> Viewers of awesomeness, super chat, superstars, and I love you guys. Y'all are awesome. Okay, let me... Let me just put this over this. Voila, clean table. <laughs> I mean, I'll pick, I'll pick all three of them up at the end of the night. But in case I get some good drippings off the other one. Okay, here's this one. Now, the colors I have. Well, hello, Elisa. Hi, Tater. Hi, Zoe. Is Tater a good boy? And, and t Zoe, Zoe, boop, boop. You know your Aunt Doris loves to boop your nose, kiddo. Okay. 
I'm doing my Amsterdam, my one of my favorite color combinations is my Amsterdam Venetian Rose. Okay. And then uh, get under there so you don't so I don't lose you. I'm trying to keep my cup cup in one spot. And then I got no way. No way, Brian. You saw the color combos I picked. I got my Reflex Rose. I thickened up my White Pearl. I got my Turquoise Blue this time. I know. Thank you. That, yeah, she always does enjoy a good nose boop, huh? <laughs> and then I got my Prussian Blue. Okay, these are shaken up already, so I don't need to shake them up again. Okay, let me get my two cups out. And I'm going to go in this order. Yeah, yeah, he loves that bright in your face pink. And that's exactly what the uh what the uh reflex rose is. That's why I like putting the Venetian rose next to it. And I'm trying to go with smaller layers. Right, Christina? Small layers. Pink in honor for, of Brian. No, I no, this color combination, this is Serendipity Jan's favorite color combination, okay? Okay, let me put some white in here. That might still be a little bit thinner. Nothing I can do about that, though. My eyes, my eyes. Okay, that's what I'm doing, Christine. I'm trying. Whoops. Uh-oh. Take a shot, Linda. Booger. Time to take a shot. There was a booger on my bottle. That's a joke between Linda and I. Every time the person on camera says booger, we take a shot. We can't take a shot if somebody types it in the chat, but if, they, if the person on camera says it, we can do that. No, none of these paints have silicone. These are these are mixed with my um, Michael's uh, Craft Smart glue and water mix. Because these are the freshest paints I got. Okay. Now I'm going to put a little bit of white on, on that. I know, I know, I'm trying. I'm trying, Linda. Okay, now my pink. Yeah, booger shot. <laughs> it's just a little funny joke. It's all because Linda got yelled at for, or some, some people got offended when she typed the word flow troll booger in the chat. I was there that day, Linda. And people actually got offended by her typing the, um, I'm doing spots, not layers. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm not doing as much in the last layers as I did. Oops, do this one. Because it's getting about halfway up there. Okay. Let me make these two a little bit bigger. Oh, that was way bigger. Ah. I should have my, I just ordered some cups from Brian, so I should have my cups before Saturday. Not sure if I'm going to do them Saturday or not. Because I'm thinking of doing some um, um, drip cups. Because I got some Convexos. And I wanted to do a, a large drip cup on a really big Convexo. Like a 20 inch Convexo.
Okay. I think I understand what you're saying. Yeah, 20 inch. And I got some 16 by 20s convexo ovals too. They had a sale. Did you and did did you get the two 20 inches Christina or did I end up get, did I end up getting them and you got to get them later? Okay. Let me bring my canvas over. Okay. Let's see if I can do this right this time. Pinch. Pull, not push. Two skinnier ribbons. Let's see. Did I do the ribbons any bit? Oh, um, Art Supply Warehouse in Westminster, California. Uh, I don't know if it's still going on. I did I did good on that one. Thank you, Christina. That means a lot if the master says I did good. Okay. Now, I'm going to start it over here in this corner, and it's just easier for me to get the start corner right there. But I'm going to go across this, try to fill in some of that. Uh... You was thinking 16 to 18, but you don't know nothing about, oh, about the convexos. They're a little tricky to work on. You've got to paint your sides because they're curved. Okay, wait a minute. Come on. There we go. I need some of that dark over here. Now I need to get some of it over here. Well, I had less paint this time. So I'm going to have to do the Allen shimmy to try to fill in some holes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, you guys are talking about clothes sizes. Sorry. I was talking about canvases, and I thought he was too. Okay, let me pop a few air bubbles. Now, I'm going to slowly take it over to the corners without going off yet. I got a lot of ribbons in this. Okay, that filled in that hole. Let me go over this way, fill in those holes. I did spray the backs of these about three hours ago, but these little 8x8s, eight their corners still pucker. So I'm having a problem with the puckering on the canvas right here, and I don't want to lose that blue. Okay. Oh, that's enough. Still didn't get the side. Just didn't get my corner either. Okay, bring the weight of the paint back to the middle. Let me go all the way down to this side. I don't want a lot of it to go off. 
There we go. There we go. Just go over the side a little bit. Bring it back. This is Serendipity Jan's favorite color palette. I did like four paintings for her in this color palette. Because <laughs> she fell in love with the very first one I did. And then I did it again and she wanted it. And then I did it again and she wanted it. Okay. I need a little bit of it to go off this edge right here. There we go. There we go. Nice paint. Oh, I just dragged my finger through it. Crap. I'm like a bowl in a china shop sometimes. Wait a minute. I want to get some dark color right here. Well, as dark as I can get. Now I got to work on this corner and I don't want to lose a lot of that. Oh. Well, it's going to compress it. This is wild looking. Now, I ended up losing all that cool stuff that was in the corner, but stretched out. That that happens to look like a rib cage right there to me. It does, doesn't it? Oh, hi, Joanne. Nice to see you, honey. Oh, yeah, and don't forget... Um, Thursday night, Christina does her tutorial, and right after her tutorial, we're going to have a premiere from Mona. Woohoo! Well, I let the cat out of the bag on Art Supply Warehouse. <laughs> Boobs in all sizes and colors are appreciated. Oh, Lord. Hello, Megan. I don't think they have those. Okay, let me see if I can get a little bit right here to, to coax some of that paint over. And right there. Right there. And there. Well, shoot. Where'd all these little naked spots come from? It's naked spots on the canvas, Brian. That's all I'm talking about. <laughs> Didn't want Brian to get any ideas. Okay. There we go. Still got some paint on here. I want to see if I can get this little pink stuff to open up. I mean, this is nice, but eh, it's kind of boring when you compare it to the rest of the canvas. So I want to see if I can get the pink and the, and the other colors to open up and move down and cover more of the canvas. Eh, that looks good. Okay. Still not a true dirty ribbon pour, but I'm really liking it. Oh, thank you so much, Donna. You are a super chat superstar, a viewer of awesomeness. I hope I don't drip on it. And I love you, girl. Thank you. Okay, that is completely wet. That's no good. Okay. Yeah, I got bubbles I got to get rid of, so let me, let me, uh, clean my hands as best I can. 
I think everybody knows now, I hope, that, that the Disco Dabo or the Dabo, is, it comes from another channel, but we just, we call it that here, too. That's a way of saying thank you for your donation. I picked it up from Trey over at uh, Max World Entertainment. Except mine became Disco Dabo because of the Disco Ball. Well, I'm happy with this one. It's still not a true... Oh, they're back there. I guess I could do that on this. While you guys are looking... Yeah, it's in the middle. I shouldn't have put my camera so high with these, huh? I'll bring it up in a minute. Yeah, my little... Allergy toothpicks is what they are. They're the little toothpicks they stick in stick in food at a restaurant and they say allergy on it. Okay, I'll just put that over there. Throw those cups away. And bring it up for a close-up. The pink isn't in your face. That part I can admit. I didn't get as much blue as I wanted. I don't know why. So on the next one, I think I'm going to do the darker color, squirt it down in the middle of the cup. Do my layers and squirt the darker color down in the middle of the cup. It's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. It's just not what I was going for. No, I wasn't going for ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for a dirty ribbon pour. Okay. Uh, I don't see anything. I don't see anything dippable on there. So let me just... Get another one out. And let me... Okay, let me bring my colors out. Okay, this one's going to be permanent blue-violet. And this is the darkest one, I think, Christina. Um... Ultramarine Violet Light, the 24 karat gold Americana Decor, Permanent Red Violet, but in the Expert Series. You have to get both of them to see that the Expert Series and Standard Series in that color are totally different. And I got Persian Rose by Amsterdam. Oh, Nighty Lisa, Night Tater, Night Zoe, Boop, Aunt Doris loves you. Okay, now let me put this over here. Here's two more empty cups. Okay, I'm thinking of starting it with the pink. Oh, cool, Shannon. Okay, I'm going to start it with the pink, and I'm going to put some of the Persian rose down there. Yes, it's pink again, Brian. Sorry. You and Shannon can close your eyes. Is that what scared Elisa away? I'm doing pink. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to put... I'm going to put the... Uh, Oh, that's right. That's right. She's got to go get some birthday cake. You turned 29 again today, right, Darnell? Okay. That's the permanent red violet. 
Now I'm going to put some gold on there. And I'm going to put some ultra. Ah, uh, oh, greetings, Mr. Mac or Mr. Trey. The original D uh, Dabo. He started it. That's where Jeff and I picked it up, and we were doing it in other people's chat, and other people picked it up, and then boom, everybody started doing Dabo. See the trend just started, Mac. Oh, that's so sweet that you got something for Eddie, too. <laughs> He's probably feeling left out. Did you show any love to, um, to, uh, did you see Ellie today, too? Okay, now, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the, the pink. I'm going to skip the red violet on this one. Oops, I forgot to do it in the other cup. I'm going to do some pink. I'm going to do just the lighter colors right here. And then I'm going to try. Hopefully I got enough pressure in my hand. Ellie is old news. <laughs> It's all about Todd now. <laughs> oh, Brian. Well, you see, they gave him that middle name, okay? Okay. This, I'm going to do it just like I did the black on the green one. <laughs> Tell him, Christina. Oh, you did see the diva? <laughs> okay, now I'm just going to go straight down the middle. There we go. And hopefully, um, hopefully that mixed it up good enough. Now let me put these bottles with their caps before I lose the caps. Because the bowl is buried. So, now there's a little bit more than half in here. Okay, the gold. Got its lid. Okay, let's see what I can do with this cup now. Okay, first I want to ask Christina, what can I change? Oh, hello, Kathy. I didn't see you come in. Nice to see you, Miss Kathy Carr, dear. Um, is there anything I should change in the way I'm um, pouring it? Am I pouring it too slow? Oh, you turned 21? I thought you turned 29, honey. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, give the missus my love, Trey. Um, okay. Christina, is there anything I should change in the way I'm doing it? Start light in the corner and swoop heavier in the middle. Okay. Let me see if I can do that. Okay. Pinch. Start light in the corner and swoop heavier in the middle. Let me do something to break this up. That's a little ugly right there. It's too plain looking. Okay, was that better? Oh yeah, don't forget to give a little little head scratch to Freya too. Okay, let me turn and start up in this corner. I tried to... Okay, pour heavier and slower in the middle. Okay, so. I 
I feel like I'm going too slow. Well, I'm getting down to the bottom of the cup, so let me just do the outside edges now. Ooh, there's some of that permanent. I need to get that. I need to get that in the middle. I need to get some of that in the middle. Okay. Okay. Oh, I was going. Okay. You said perfect. Evelyn said slow down. And you said perfect. Okay. Well, let me torch. And there's more paint on here. I didn't use a Brian amount, but I didn't use a Mina amount or a Christina amount. Um, but we'll see what happens. Uh-oh. Almost out. And it's up all the way. Oh, this is not fun. I hate having to do this right in the middle of a live. Whew. I hate the smell, too. There. Oh, oh, big flame. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Napkin stuck. <sighs> Thanks, Brian. Yeah. Anything but green is the wrong color to him. Okay. Let me first... Get some down to this corner. Okay, now tilt it back. I think I got enough. I don't need to be cupping my corners. Let me, oh, paint's for still running fast, but I'm trying to stretch out some of this red violet that's over here and not anywhere else. Mm, running really fast still. Come on, over the corner. Okay, now all I gotta do is worry about this corner. See what's going on. Okay, I want to get down to the corner. See if there's enough paint to bring it back. Yeah, there's enough to bring it back to the middle. Looking at my sides, I got one side here that needs a little dab and one part of a corner here that needs a little dab. Okay. There's more paint on there. Oh, thank you, Donna. Thank you, Jeff. Ah, oh, thank you, Vic. Thank you, Sh uh, Shannon. Thank you, Darnell. Okay. I 
I could take more of this light off because I'm trying to get the dark up there to open up. There's still paint on here. Okay, now I want to take the gold back. Because I'm losing a lot of my gold now. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this composition. Oh, thank you, Miss Linda, Miss Sophia. And this is how I get paint on my arms. It's right here, and I'm leaning in the, in the tray. Thank you, Susan. I realize that, Brian, but I got to start small. Oh, good night, Joanne. Thank you, Darnell. Oh, good night, Angela. I guess Angela's leaving too. Saw somebody say good night to her. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to practice more, but I'm not going to be doing these on lives. Thank you, Julia. Like a 36 by 36. Brian, I got two letters for you. And it's not, it's not, um, well, you know what the two letters are, okay? There's no, this to this is about 26 inches and this to this is about 28 inches. Yeah, thank you, Linda. Go. <laughs> yeah. And I want everybody to know that when we say. Oh, that's right. I forgot. That's Linda's cat's name. <laughs> when we say that, we're not being mean to each other. As a matter of fact, when Vic and Linda and I say that to Brian, it's like a warm little hug. Yeah, there we go. Foxtrot Omega. There we go. I didn't think of that. Thanks, Jeff. You know, I should have thought of that being military or military brat. Oh, N-O. <laughs> oh, hello, Cheryl. I just saw you. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Well, let me bring this little guy up for a close-up. time is it well it's a little after seven see christina i don't always go just till seven i go a little over <laughs> um so i am very very happy with this one i will have to get out some bigger ones to try it on now that i know some of the stuff i should be doing that i wasn't doing before up uh, I have got a white spot right there, which is plain, uh, plain old naked corner canvas. And I found one there, too. So, um, I think I like it with the lines going um, horizontal more. And... My permanent blue violet's making a show right there in the corner. I see my permanent red violet. But remember, if you're going to try permanent red violet, it's a little bit more expensive, but the color is just to die for. So you're going to have to get um, the uh, expert series because there's a big, big difference. Oops, I touched a couple places. 
and I got some fingerprints in there. Oh, fiddlesticks. Okay, that's good enough. So, uh, let me see. This is Tuesday. Thursday night at 7... 8 p.m. Eastern. I had to think. Think. Oh, hi, Darth. Or I should say... <laughs> Hail, Darth. That's the best Vulcan salute I can do. Um... Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern is Christina's tutorial, and um, then we've got, um, right after that, we've got Mona, Art Flow by Mo, with her first uh, premiere, and I think that's going to be an every Thursday thing now, and then I will be back Saturday. Oh, and Friday, for those of you who uh, made any donations in any way to Christina's channel, Friday she does her giveaway. I think it's at um, 6 p.m. Hail is not a Vulcan thing. <laughs> Ryan, hush. Um, and then Saturday I'll be back. But right before me on Saturday we have Moose. And then, of course, Sunday, we've got Mr. Ryan. So, most important one right now is Thursday. Okay. Thank you, Evelyn. Um, I have enjoyed having you guys here, wa watching me stumble and learn how to do this. But I think, um, I think I will, um, pre-practicing more. Okay. So, Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. I've given you the lineup for between now and um, Saturday. And I hope to see you guys at each one of those. Um, and I love the fluid arts right out of you guys. Y'all are awesome. My viewers of awesomeness and my mods of awesomeness. Yay! And... I will talk to y'all later. So, bye for now.